stop with the shenanigans. On this video, I'm going to tell you why we got the best music review live stream hands down and why I started reviewing music on Family Fridays. Don't you go no Bruce Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, I don't need nothing else. Every time I'm with you, yo, it's something else. It's a fact, it's a fact, and it's nothing else. Got your hand out, you don't even need a help. Oh, that's right. What's going on? It's Bruce Stone with KingsDreamENT.com. This channel exists to encourage, empower, inspire you to live God's dream for your life. And I'm going to jump right into it. The reason why we have the best live stream music review on the internet is for that reason. And by best, I mean better than anybody else. I don't care who you're talking about, whether that's No Jumper, whether that's Rapzilla, whether it's all these other people that are all of a sudden doing music reviews on their Instagram and whatever. We have the best one. Why? Because this channel exists to encourage, empower, and inspire people to live God's dream for their life. You sending your music to me is not for people's amusement so I could be some kind of Simon Cow character and say, oh, it's bloody hell, it's terrible, Blah. No, we're here to encourage, empower, inspire you. We're here to give you very practical feedback. See, there's a lot of places you can get your music reviewed, but they don't exist to give you specific practical feedback that'll push you forward and propel you to become a better creative. Recently, I've been talking about on this channel how I believe that talent is a myth. And some of you guys are bent out of shape. How could talent be a myth, people? Listen, 90% of it is your work ethic, your deliberate hours, your relationships, your access. 10% of it are those natural intangibles, your tone of voice, your accent, your ability to sound a certain way that's more modern when you sing or sound a different way. But the majority of it, of those of us that are intending to be outliers, of those of us that are intending to put in those 10,000 deliberate hours is going to be about focused energy. And so why is this channel better? Well, because me, I've been doing this for 20 years. I know, I know, I know. I look way too good to have been making rap music for 20 years, but goodness, just listen, follow me along for a second. I've been doing this for 20 years. It took me 15 years to go full time. So that means I've been full time grossing six figures for the past five years. If you could do math, you know, just keep up with me. So I've been doing music five years, full time, paying all my bills. My wife doesn't work a job. We live in San Diego, California, one of the most expensive places to live. And I feel like I know a thing or two about how to get people from point A to point B. If you don't believe I know a thing or two, just go and look at all the artists that I've worked with and look at their music videos and who they were before they started working with me and who they evolved and became into on top of my own work and my own contribution to art. So I'm coming from a pragmatic practitioner's perspective that not only have I became successful as an independent artist learning how to grow six figures, but I've helped multiple other people become full-time creatives or, or on their way to become full-time creatives. I'm not gonna give you all the names. You could do your Googles, you could do your research. So that's the first reason. But before we give you the second and third reason, I gotta give you the recap from this Friday's Fan Love Friday. One of the dopest submissions we had this past Friday is my man Conscience from Phoenix, Arizona. The next submission that was probably one of my favorite submissions this Friday is the homie I'm Rescued from Namibia, Africa. Check him out, y'all. That's me dropping the drums, the bombs. Wasted my time chasing insanity. There is no. And last but not least, Michael DeLosa. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's taste better, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but I can't taste, taste it, it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, tastes better, yeah, uh, yeah, it's taste it, yeah, uh, I know it tastes better, yeah. 
So if you want to get your music heard, the link is in the description. You could do that right now. But, but back to the regularly scheduled programming. Why is our stream the best on the internet? Well, because if you were paying attention, you would notice that every single person that gets a review is in the daggone video because we do the review over Zoom call. Who else is doing that? I wish I'd give myself a bomb. I don't got my thing. We do face-to-face -face Zoom reviews. That means that I'm probably going to be a bit more delicate if I got to look you in the face and tell you it's not good. I'm going to be a bit more delicate in how I tell you that. And so what I've been able to do my last job before this full time venture as an artist is I worked at a church. I handled all the media, video switchers, live services, all that kind of stuff. And I've been able to leverage that kind of stuff and create from a tech standpoint, the best live stream for me the best live stream for music reviews on the internet, bar none. And I don't see anybody else doing Zoom calls. Now watch, I bet you somebody's gonna bite that, but it's okay, man, it's all fair use. You go ahead and use that, baby, I'm not mad. Another reason why is because we give you objective criticism based on something more than just my feelings and how I'm feeling that day and my taste of music. A lot of people are like, yeah, it's dope. No, it's not dope. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna give you specific feedback based on one of the best songwriters, producers that I know. You guys could download this sheet based by my man, Ray Rock, who created this great song checklist. Six ingredients for a great song. It's available on rayrock.com. And if I bring it over a little bit, it consists of a phrase that pays, an unforgettable melody, a killer performance, disruptive, quality nostalgic sounds and a collaboration and then you got this little cheat sheet you guys can go download this print this put post it on your wall post it everywhere it'll help you as a songwriter now obviously it's not absolute it's not an absolute standard but there are certain songs that may be really nostalgic and therefore they don't need a phrase that pays maybe the melody is so memorable and they're so nostalgic that the other parts maybe the mix doesn't have to be as good it could just be a real simple mix but there is some type of way we're gauging, giving you feedback. It's not just about my feelings and my preference and my taste of music and you know what I had to eat at lunch that's affecting my mood and I'm just saying it's trash. We're actually trying to give you objective feedback on something like art and music that is subjective to people's taste. And the last reason, and probably the most important reason, is you're plugging into an ecosystem. You're plugging into a community. You're plugging into the Patreon community. Now, I know most creators on Patreon, it's about supporting them, but I've kind of inverted this thing and I made Patreon as a way to connect artists, to give people information and to really give back to as many people as I can at scale. The current rate right now to sign up for Patreon is only $10 a month. That will increase, by the way. And so what you get for that is you get to have your song reviewed every single Friday. You get to be in the Zoom call while I review your song. You also get to be in a Zoom call with me every Sunday and sometimes an additional week for coaching. And you get all the content and the exclusive videos ahead of time before the public gets them. And you get all of our music that comes out from King's Dream MT, King's Dream MT ahead of time. So you get a lot of perks for only $10 a month. And that rate will go up. So sign up for it now because we're going to keep pricing it up to 15, then 20, then 25. What you get in exchange for what you give is way more valuable than anybody else I see doing music reviews. And that's because I'm not trying to get rich off of reviewing your music. However, I do believe, I do believe what you pay for and what you sacrifice for, you will value. And so making artists and creatives just give a little bit, just give a little contribution, 10 bucks, not a crazy amount. It does, it does increase their ability to grow in their capacity for making music to be deliberate to actually apply what i'm going to say because if you just want everything for free and you just want a handout and you don't want to pay for nothing you don't want to pay for coaching you don't want to pay for education you don't want to pay for quality beats quality mixes you don't want to put in the time ultimately to get from point A to point B. And that's why I exist. I'm here to get as many people as I can from point A to point B to build as many independent entrepreneurs who own their masters, own their publishing, and can ultimately drive what they want for their music. I exist to help others. That's what this channel is for, to encourage, empower, inspire people to live God's dream. I started Fan Love Friday initially on Tuesday. We were calling it True Fan Love Tuesday, way too long. I actually started it on, on Twitter. And why I started it is because I wanted to add as much value to artists as I possibly could based on the experience I had. I had just went full time. I think this is about 2015, 2016-ish. And it was just 
didn't want to do it always get, got irritated when people sent me their links on twitter and instagram people always asked me i was just like Ugh, i don't want to listen to music and, and granted back then the music was pretty trash so we started out doing reviews and eventually it built over time and we went to facebook and then I said, man, I gotta, I could get this video. And I borrowed the video switcher from my church and I was able to run two computers at the same time, get audio to the video switcher into OBS. I learned OBS, I learned live streaming, learned how to connect my DSLR. And eventually the quality just kept improving. And then we landed on Fridays. I thought it was a cool way to end the week. And it's been amazing ever since. We have over 220 Patreons right now signed up. We probably get about 30 to 40 submissions and about 20 to 30 people that hop into Zoom calls, it rotates, and more importantly, again, there's an ecosystem, there's collaboration happening, there's people bartering, mixing for video, video for art, all these different things, production, trading, collaboration, projects, singles being released together, and it's all in this online Patreon community that you could be a part of if you wanna be. Or not, you go to them other places, pay more, do whatever you want, it's on you anyway. I wanted to give you guys a breakdown on why I think we have the best live stream, why I've been doing it, and why you should be a part of it. So, sign up below. Appreciate y'all hanging out. Give this video a like, a thumbs up, comment. Am I bugging? Do I not have, do we not have the illest live stream here? Do we not have the illest online community here on the internet? Am I tripping? Am I, am I the one that's tripped? Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments.